Is this thing on? All right, gentlemen, coming to main stage next, this is Bunny. Get up there. She's got a tornado of titties coming your way. Get those dollar bills ready. She's got an ass that shakes like Michael J. Fox. So get up there and throw, throw, throw them dollars. Dude, that is fucking iconic. <laughs> What's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to another episode of Dumb Blonde. Today, we have some of TikTok's most eligible bachelors, and I'm really excited that you guys are here. Caden McGuire and Jaden Armour. What's up, babies? What's going on? How are you? Uh, dude, I'm stoked that you guys are here. I'm stoked, too. This is awesome. Let's do it. I, I love seeing you guys um, online because literally you guys have all the girls swooning. Like, how does that feel to have, like such a huge fan base you've got what 1.9 you've got 2.7 2.7 million which i'm sure are all fucking women mostly <laughs> yeah we actually <laughs> looked last night it was like 94 percent female yeah no i believe yeah. it yeah how much pussy is getting pitched to you guys' way just being tiktok stars yeah, not, <laughs> Kate not like here we go <laughs> not speaking ego wise but there was a lot but i mean it has its benefits but we try not to like focus on that part because yeah. there's so much content that we try to do but I mean, it's, it's there. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty good at keeping my yeah dick in my pants. Are you? I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Caden's face just now yeah. when I said that. <laughs> He's so nervous because we had a conversation before this, and I was like, you know, a couple girls came on the podcast and they spilled some tea, and he's been fucking shitting that's, bricks that's ever since. Right there. Yeah, there's been a few little slip ups, but I'm pretty good at it. I mean, there's always I'm gonna be nervous, like, though. there's gonna be a time that you're like, all right, fuck it, let's like, yeah, I mean, let's get pussy, but. I mean, we're young dudes. Yeah. Of course. Dude, you guys got to live it up. Well, Me let's too. take it. Let's start from the beginning. So, Caden, where are you from, baby? Uh, I'm from a very small town in Ohio. Oh, Very H. small. Ohio. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And what about you, Jaden? I'm actually from Ohio, too. But I live like an hour away from yeah. him. Like, I live in Alliance, Ohio. Did you guys grow up together? No. Oh, we okay. We just met. I actually met him like, what, a month ago? No, we met coming to Nashville. I mean, I knew you like online yeah, though. Yeah. yeah. So like we met in person, like just when I got here about five, six days ago. Oh, yeah. wow. But right, we've cool. known each other like from online probably for about a month. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Isn't that crazy how online can like bring you close yeah, with people like that? Yeah. Like it's just it's insane. Awesome. So you grew up in Ohio. Mm -hmm. I see you in TikToks with your mom all the time. Do you guys have a really good relationship? Yeah, we do now. Uh, about three years ago, I was kind of a little, little wild party animal. You? <clears throat> I was bad. Yeah. I was real bad. Let's talk about it. How bad was bad? Well, I was kind of like a. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I was the opposite of a puss. <laughs> I was fucking puss. Like a seven day a week blacked out drunk party animal. Drugs or just alcohol? No, I never got into drugs because I was working. Yeah. And I was you, a, are you a carpenter? I was, yes. I saw that. I saw yeah. a picture. Yeah. I took my job very serious, worked a lot, and I also drank a lot to make up for the pain. Aw, what pain were you trying to make up for? Just working. Oh, is that yeah? Like hating hard work. <clears throat> yeah, hating my life every day. So, I, bottoms up. Yeah, I was, no, nobody wants to work though. Yeah, I was out there, bro. Yeah. Oh, I hate that for you. So, rewinding back to your mom. So, you guys just got close, or you guys have been close your whole life? We've been close my whole life, but these last like three years, we've really got. A lot closer together is she really 60 years old <laughs> okay because <laughs> when you fucking made that tiktok the other day i was like god she looks fucking great like i want to know her secret yeah no that's that's fucking hilarious okay good i'm glad we cleared that up she gets so mad 60. at me for saying that oh i bet i could tell i didn't know if she was mad that you were saying it or mad that you were like outing her so i was like i gotta ask him if she's really 60. yeah i'll post a video and i always know when she sees it because i'll hear from like somewhere <clears throat> when i roam around here kaden michael I'm like she saw it. <laughs> yeah. Does she have a TikTok too? Yeah, she's got like almost thirty thousand followers just from me tagging her and stuff, and people they just love her. Dude, TikTok is a fucking beast. It's insane, honestly. The we'll get, can do. Yeah. We, yeah, we'll get to that though. So, Jaden, you grew up in Ohio. Tell I me did. a little bit about your childhood. Um, I live in a small town. Alliance is not not shit. There's nothing there. You have to drive like an hour to do anything. Um, that town sucks. No, it's, it's well, nice. what was it? Alliance? Alliance, Ohio, yeah. I've never even heard of that. I mean, there's nothing like, I mean, like, that's where I grew up, so I have a lot of hometown friends, and, like, I love them, but the things to do there, it's not a place, like, to blow up. Right. But, Absolutely. I mean, I just, I guess I got lucky. I was fortunate enough to, like, find TikTok and, like, do the stuff I'm doing now, but, I mean, I grew up, I was in sports, like, football, basketball, baseball, like, boxing, like, just anything, really. And, like, the All-American kid. Yeah. And I actually, I wanted to do baseball like full-time and all this stuff and then i actually got injured 
I used to get injured a lot. I actually broke my um, I broke my neck and like three vertebrae back here. Which ones? I broke my C1. I broke C6, C7, and C8. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're like, I, you're dove, I was actually at prom my junior year of high school and I fucking was trying to show off. And I didn't know the, <laughs> I didn't know the pool was only three fucking feet. Oh no. So I jumped and I dove and I've had my hands to the side like this. I bet everyone you see this is going to laugh their ass off. But I dove in straight down, like <coughs> straight down. And I fucking hit my head on the bottom and like gave me like a concussion, snapped my neck. Um, you're lucky you didn't die, dude. Dude, I, I it walk. knocked me out for a second underwater. My buddy came over, he grabbed me up, and he's like, "Don't be a pussy." And I'm like, "Dude, I just fucked myself up." Like, <laughs> I didn't know at first because my head hurt so bad. I was like, uh, "I didn't know my neck like was broke or anything." I was like, "Dude, I couldn't even see." I went to the bathroom, was like throwing up, like made me nauseous and shit. And yeah, I went and got X-rays, and like I actually have a picture on my phone still of the X-rays, and they like snapped. Oh my god, shit was fucked. Yeah, you're about lucky. <laughs> yeah, about for scared. sure. Yeah, you're, you're still a fucking puss. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's uh talk about you guys' faith i've noticed that mm-hmm. you caden uh, are you also a man of god too? i am i don't preach it really like he does but obviously i still believe in god and like all that stuff but i don't like put it out like like he does so, right yeah. so how, did you grow up in faith or let's... yeah so that's actually a big part of my story and that's <clears throat> okay. why me and my mom got a lot closer for the last three years i would love to hear it <clears throat> so i was actually like a big party i grew up in church and stuff and was always going but i just kind of went because i wanted people to like to know i was like a good guy i guess um and then i started to party hard (laughs) that dog i started (laughs) to party hard and it got me in some trouble to where i was looking at prison time wow what happened i got in a wreck driving drunk Mm. and i was looking at two to seven years in jail and did somebody get hurt yeah so i hit somebody head on and i like got out of my truck like freaking out i'm like I just looked at myself, and I'm like, who the fuck am I? I was like, this isn't, I've never wanted to be this guy. So I kind of just started digging into something that I wanted to become better and found it, and I just couldn't deny it and kept running with it and kept digging deeper, and me and my mom became best friends through it. And Yeah, so they... I, I totally wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly believe in Jesus, and I was raised in faith too and in the church. Um when you're going through some of your darkest times, I feel like just the only person who can get you through that is God, like yeah. and Jesus, because there's times that I've been through some really dark shit and I'll start praying and I'll start singing like church hymns. Mm-hmm. And I swear it just like instantly makes you feel better. Yeah. Like there's just something about that unconditional love. And if you don't have that relationship, you don't really understand it. Not to get all preachy on the podcast, but everybody knows I, I totally oh, yeah. believe in that stuff too. What about you, Jaden? How's your walk with God? I mean, I've done my fair share of praying, I would say, especially when I fucking broke my neck. I was like, oh my God, I thought I was going to be paralyzed and shit. Yeah. And I remember actually I was sitting on the couch. My mom had walked in. I went and got an x-ray in my hometown hospital or whatever, and they were like, oh, you just tore tendons. Like, you're good. I was like, okay. So I was like laying on the couch, like bent over like this, watching you two, like not even caring. Like, oh, it's not broken, so I'll be fine. And she came back in and because we got a call from like a hospital. They sent my x-rays to another hospital like three hours away. And they called and they were like, his shit's broken. And they sent the pictures mm-hmm. and she was freaking out. And I was like, oh my God. So I like didn't move. Like but I was in neck brace for about eight months. So I was like scared of my, oh my God, like what if I get paralyzed? Because the way my bone broke, if it, the bone grew like outwards, like towards like my skin, I'd be good. But if it grew in, it's going to hit my spinal cord, eventually going to paralyze me. So I was like, oh fuck. Oh so I was freaking the fuck out. And I was like, dude, like praying every night. I was, it scared the shit out of me. I think that's why I got closer with God. I'm not like, I'm probably not like him. I believe in God. I do all that stuff, but I mean, I, I think it probably saved my fucking life, dude. <laughs> yeah, that shit was sketchy. No, for sure. <clears throat> Caden, I saw something about a mission trip. Did you ever go on that missions trip? Yes, I did. I went to Africa and I saw stuff over there with my own eyes that I never thought in a million years was one possible, two that I would ever see. Life changing, right? Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. so what, you just like toured Africa or like what was, tell me a little <clears throat> yeah, bit we about went over and it was like a big, uh, like it, it's like a big street mission stuff. And it's kind of like a really humbling experience. Cause you go over there and you don't see any of it here. And there's like kids on the street that are homeless that they said like 13 up to seven to 13 kids get killed a week because mm-hmm. they're homeless and they just live like in the median of a street, like the highway. And they'll just get hit, over, ran over by a car. And oh, my God. Just and people them. just keep trucking? Yeah, they'll just leave them lay there because it's so, like, everyday thing there. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's got to be heart-wrenching. Yeah, but I But it's got to feel so good to, like, get out there and, like, yeah. be able to help people. Yeah, I'd 
cried like a baby in <laughs> Africa. It made me kind of realize, like, wow, I feel like a piece of shit for all the times I used to tell my parents that they weren't good because they didn't get me the toy I wanted. Aww. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, it was it was a real humbling experience <coughs> for me. Good for the soul. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You recently posted a TikTok about your um, ex that passed. Can mm-hmm. we talk about that? Yeah, but I might cry a little bit. It's okay. I'll hug you. I got big old boobies that'll console you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah. okay, the emotional Caden. <laughs> so that's a big part of my story. Was yeah, uh, I would love to hear it and like clear the air because I did see a bunch of like articles and nobody really knew mm-hmm. what was going on. So I figured if people could hear it from your mouth, it would be. Yeah, I was kind of upset about that. I posted that video and it was like all kinds of these press releases about it. And I'm like, bro, it's this disgusting. It's like this isn't even the story. You're making it look like, oh, I'm judging. It's us, frustrating. But, yeah. Yeah. So I met her in like sixth grade <clears throat> and we were at a uh, like big pool party, I guess. It was like a big private pool. And she came over, pushed me in. I looked up and I'm like, damn, that girl's cute. A little sixth grade me. I'm like, I'm she gonna was marry. cute too. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to marry that girl. Aww. So we talk a little bit. We go into eighth grade. And I transferred schools to the rival school in eighth grade. I walk in the first day and uh, we, st- we were talking all summer and stuff. I walk in and see her. I'm like, dang, like this is the girl. This is the girl. And then she texts me. She's like, hey, I have a boyfriend. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what am I going to do about this? Mr. Steel, your girl. And I had a football game that day, and I was the quarterback, so I'm, like, down in the dumps. First day of the brand-new school, got a football game. I'm like, damn, I'm going to suck it up. And then she texted me right before the game. She said, hey, I broke up with him. I just had to date him because we dated every year for eight years. I'm like, what? You're in sixth grade. (laughs) So we started dating. We were together all of eighth grade. Uh, Going into high school, we were on and off for, like, two years. Started dating again senior year, and it was, like, everything was perfect. Like, we were, like – goals relationship going fishing all the time like going to watch the stars we we're homecoming court for football games uh it was it was a really like life-changing relationship for me and then we were on and off for the next like seven years after that when you say off and on like why were you guys off and on just growing that was kind of well that was kind of my like where i wanted to party and get wild stage right <clears throat> so i would like I found like peace in her and comfort in her. So I like, I loved her, but I wasn't ready to settle down because I was still like, yeah, yeah. I was a boy. And she was like, she was ready for me to put a ring on her finger and like completely marry her. And I was not ready for that. And I would run back to her, run away, run back to run away. And then we, we just continued to do that. And I did like, I broke her heart bad and it's like tears me up to like this day because Mm -hmm. of that. But, um, she was a girl that definitely like, Oh, it's okay. This just means that this is pain that you still need to work through. Do you ever go to like therapy? No, I'm good, but mm. just like talking about her life, man. Yeah, so she ended up actually getting a boyfriend and he treated her good and I like I loved it. I was all there for it. Like I was supporting it. Like I was like I want to see her happy cuz she deserves to be happy. She needs someone to treat her this way cuz I couldn't and uh, that was kind of when I started finding my faith and stuff really grown. And she was still, like, pushing me, like, to be a better person with <clears throat> all this, like, sending me stuff all the time. And, like, um, I got in that wreck, and she was the very first person to, like, be there. She's like, Caden, like, this isn't the you that I know. And that, like, really grabbed me. I'm like, why would you be there for me? I'm the biggest piece of shit in town right now. So I started through that, and uh, <clears throat> about eight months later, I was fishing a giant tournament, like, the biggest tournament I've ever probably fished in my life. And I get a phone call from my mom and I'm sitting there fishing. I'm like, mom, why are you calling me? You know, I'm fishing. Like I'm trying to make some money here. So I ignore it. And I got this weird feeling like something's, something's messed up here. And then she texts me and say, call me ASAP. And I immediately do. I'm like, something wrong. Something's wrong with Steph. So I call her and my mom says, Caden, we need to talk. And I was like, just tell me. And she said, Stephanie's on life support. She's about to take her last breath. And I just, yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but so through that, I was kind of like pissed off at God for it because I was like, why would you take someone like that away from like everyone that needed her? Um, and in reality, she like she did. She changed my life. She showed me like she's the reason why I'm a better person now. That's why she was here and that's why she was put in your life was to help you. Some people come here. It's okay. Oh, 
You know, give him a kiss. That's a, you want me to give you a kiss on the cheek? <laughs> I'll give you a kiss on the cheek. Go! Oh, yay! Hey. <laughs> Look, that's going to fucking get out. Oh, gee, gay. No, I'm not. We just wanted to make you smile. I'm yeah, so sorry about that. So that's that. still like, I get, I refuse to like let her story die because she's going to impact like thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people the rest of my life. And Absolutely. I'm going to carry her story with me. And one day, I hope that's I find uh, a wife that's okay with it. <laughs> That's what. That's one way you can keep her memory alive, though. And mm. also, it's going to be healing for you to be able to tell that story. And one of these days, you're going to be able to tell that story and get through it without tearing up. And you'll be able to smile about it. And, like, really, I can tell you carry a lot of guilt from that. And you shouldn't. You were a kid. And mm. she knows that. You know, like, she's always around you now. I don't know if you believe in that. But mm. energy never dies. So she's always with you. And every step that you make, every every decision that you have in life, She's right there with you, just rooting you on, still being your... Yeah. I find peace in it because I know, like, I'm going to see her again, and I know she's not in any kind of pain, so... Yeah. I, f- I find peace in it. It's, like, happy tears, kind of. <clears throat> yeah. But it's also, like, damn, I miss her. No, I bet. And it's hard when you find that once-in-a-lifetime love to ever replace that. Hey, Daddy. I brought a kiss, too. <laughs> <laughs> Where's, Come the say hi. Where's the big man at? Where's the big man? There he is. <laughs> What's up, fella? <laughs> What's, What's up, doing? Up, bro? What's going on? Oh, I was so hungry. I was so hungry. That's so goals. That's so goals. That's what I want. That's what I want. Is he off camera if he sits right here? How are you doing, Donkey? How are you, bro? Chilling, man, you know. Of course. They, you're not on camera. You can play the game with us in a little bit. I think it would be hilarious to hear your <laughs> to hear your <coughs> take on it. Come on, come on! You already disturbed enough. Let him come over here. Chachi, come here. Oh my god! <laughs> not like we're not in the middle of a podcast, Daddy. <laughs> that dog is a pimp. Yeah, no, he's awesome. He nor- we call him Ch- Chachi Two Chains because he normally has two chains on, but I couldn't find his other. You know what's one. funny? That dog. I walked in. I saw that chain on his neck. I have a little ass Chihuahua. My mom just bought it home. Like it's the size of my foot. <laughs> yeah. And we got this big ass fucking gold chain put on his neck. Oh yeah. No, Chachi loves his chains. Um, okay, awesome. so moving on from mm. the sad story, but yeah, actually quite inspiring. Um, how did you guys start getting into to TikTok? Like, what? When did you guys get on the Can app? I, like, when did things start happening for you? So for me, I was actually um, so my sister growing up had moved away, and she actually moved to Alabama when I was still living in Ohio full time, and she came back to visit, and she was at the house or whatever, and we weren't seeing each other as much, but me and her were very close growing up. And we're sitting there, and she's like, yo, like you should get on TikTok. I'm like, what the fuck's TikTok? I had no idea. I was barely on social media. I didn't do anything. I was just doing sports full time. I was like, what the fuck? You like, make videos and shit? And she was like, yeah. I was like, okay. So I went on. She's like, you're a pretty boy. You should do that shit. And I was like, ah, probably <laughs> won't, but okay, maybe. <laughs> right. So like a week later, I went fishing, and um, I used to be a big fisher guy like him. And I went fishing. I was on my buddy's boat. I can't I was see like, you being a fisher because oh, you're like yeah, such I a fish, pretty boy. I'll, like, I just could not see you okay, being well, your hands From there. what I look like two years ago to now, it's 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 a pretty big difference, but gotcha. I used to be a big fisher guy, but, um, I was on the boat fishing and I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna make a fucking TikTok." So I pulled out my phone and I was just making this cringy ass, stupid transition video. And my buddy was like twerking in the background. It actually got like 4,000 <laughs> views. I was like, holy shit. So dude, we're fucking blowing up, like freaking out. I'm like, I'm gonna do this again. And I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. I just fucking shot the fuck up. But, Crazy. All I mean, the way to 2.7 million. Yeah. I What's your shtick? I, I have I've never seen your profile, which is crazy. Because so mm-hmm. when he texts me today, he's like my friend Jade, and I didn't even yeah. have a chance to look at it. What's I mean, your? Because so you know how everybody he can it. dance like freaking crazy. Really? <laughs> yeah. So like Magic Mike type like he, shit. He defies yeah. gravity. I'm not shit. It's freaking weird. <laughs> oh, like break dancing or <laughs> like just all the like like I just, I don't know. It's he just moves and it's weird. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to check it out i mean i originally blew up i did povs like acting skits because i always want to be an actor and model and all this stuff right this is like before i moved to arizona to like to do my movie or whatever but so i would like do acting skits and they started like millions of views each one i was like holy shit and like you can't the thing about tiktok you can't stick with something you can only do something for so long right and you got to find something else to do so that started dying down a little bit i'm like okay what the fuck else can i do i was like wait i can fucking dance so like, okay, I, like I would throw dances in here and there when I did like acting, but I started doing like dancing full time now, and that shit like it's doing good. Like it's just going off. Yeah. Because I mean, half the app is dancing anyway. Yeah. But once you you have to like find like your like your thing, and that can be like more than one thing. Like mine, I did POVs, 
and I did dancing, but now I do it like way more and it's just, it's a huge benefit. It's just awesome. It's when I was Googling and researching, I've noticed that they tag people now as lip, lip sync artists. Yep. I didn't even know that was a fucking thing. No yeah. way. Like everybody gets a fucking trophy type shit. Like it's just crazy to me that that's yeah. a title. No. I well, I'm telling TikTok that if I'm a lip sync artist, I'm an artist, <coughs> they better verify me. <laughs> right? I, would, I, I can't even get verified. <clears throat> that's crazy. It is it's hard. It's insane. It, it's like you have to have, I think like the rules, you have to have a certain amount of like, like different type of videos to say, like to show your accounts, like a variation of different things. So if like, if I only posted dances for like a straight year, I would not get verified. Wow. Yeah. That's it's like, crazy. it's weird. It's some like weird, I don't know, something it's like, like that. It's like some weird fucking clubs, like the Illuminati, like to <laughs> get fucking like verified on TikTok. I'm verified on Instagram, but can't get verified on TikTok. Yeah. Caden, how did you get into TikTok? Well, I, the first time I downloaded TikTok, <clears throat> I was at work. We were on a lunch break. We were pouring a lot of concrete. I was sweating my ass off. I said, you know what? I'm going to download TikTok because my brother and his friend made this stupid page called Cletus and Earl. <laughs> Earl. Cletus and Earl. Where they dressed up like hillbillies and made funny ass skits, and it was it was funny. That's hilarious. So you do have a brother? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And downloaded it, got on there, and I was like, I don't know how to work this. This app sucks. Deleted it, and then like two months later, I downloaded it again, and I started posting a couple funny skits, and I was I got like the first video got like 10k views, and I'm like, holy shit, dude, I'm going viral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, I'm in this. That first feeling you get, you're like, oh my god. Yeah. What the fuck? I remember showing my mom. Do you guys like, think that like? clout is a hell of a drug at first but it once, after i hit like 10k i never cared again yeah mm -hmm. it's, i think mean, i feel like it gets to a point where like like there's some people be like oh my god i have like four mil don't talk to me yeah like i hate that shit that's so i weird. hate that yeah. shit because everybody like dude that shit can come to an end yeah like, oh yeah facts. like you know and then people once don't it does, realize like, that who are you exactly yeah. it's no i was on a big rush because i was like i just want to hit 10k so i see like the k mark because i was like dude all these <clears> people got like 50k like Looking at him as famous, I'm like, I might be able to fit in. And I hit 10K. I was like, yeah, I don't really care anymore. I yeah. didn't, like, I thought I was going to, like, throw a party when I hit a million. I'm like, yeah, I don't really care. It yeah. It just sucks. <laughs> just, now you're almost at 2 million. Yeah. We're, we're in a up. competition, a secret competition, because I'm almost at 2 million, too. So. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting close. <laughs> Me, too. Pretty, pretty close. I think I'm like, what are we, like, 30,000 away? I think. I, think I need, like, like, 10. Damn it. Dude, I need, what's it now? <laughs> Son I of a bitch. I checked down. This is almost 70 now. Yeah. So he's I mean, freaking growing like a sound. It's freaking nice. <laughs> so all the ladies, they love that fucking magic mic shit. I think I'll hit 2.8 probably by, what's today? Like Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. I'd say like Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'd be awesome. Well, congrats to you. Bastard. Hopefully. Let's talk about these thirst <laughs> traps that you guys post. Oh, so I think the first time I ever saw one of yours, you guys were doing some dance and it was like, you guys were like the boy band of TikTok. <laughs> like, but you guys were like, dancing together in sync but you know to that was our freaking music. little between the legs dance yes that's exactly <laughs> what it was yeah yeah some of those comments on that video was ruthless <clears throat> like what do you mean like mean or oh they're bad dude <laughs> no they're mean or like dirty well my caption was and i guess i kind of worded it wrong because i said uh if you date one of us you get all of us <laughs> so in the ladies head they started commenting yeah. And I'm like, women are ruthless. Oh, I didn't realize that. And I read my comments. I'm like, holy. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, geez. Listen, women are horny. Okay. And the, a lot of these women are like older women on the app, too. So they're just hey, praying for something. I'm telling you, something about a MILF, man. It's, <laughs> it's, I don't know. So, Jaden, you like MILFs? You know, I, I'm a fan. <laughs> Have you had a real MILF, though? <laughs> yes, you do. Of course you do. Um, you know, there was, there might have been a counter or two. <laughs> a counter no, or two? An, an encounter, like, <laughs> oh, an encounter. Yeah. I was like, oh, you banged an her on the counter? On That's hot. <laughs> I was like, let's keep talking about it. Shit. <laughs> banging on the sofa. Keep going. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> That's awesome. Like what about you? <laughs> What's your type? Because I see you always talking about you want to get married and stuff like that. Is that <clears throat> really what you want to do? I do, but I'm scared. Cause I have heard different. I'm scared. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm like scared. Like I want that, but I'm like scared. Yeah. I <clears throat> hear that you have a reputation for like hooking up with girls and then it, like whenever you're out of town and then as soon as you get home, you completely ghost them. That's so cap. That's so cap. <laughs> Don't look at me, bitch. <laughs> I, I, no, that is so cap. No, that's not you. No. I mean, I've over the 
days I <clears> definitely <throat> kind of flirted with the line a little bit, but I <laughs> no, I don't ghost no one. You don't just completely ghost? No. What scares you about marriage? I'm kind of scared of just like, I don't know. Like Commitment? I'm afraid. No, I want it, but I'm afraid that I'm like, like it's not going to be like the right one or something. I don't know. There's just some kind of weird fear ever since like, I don't know. It's like that commitment to like that one person, I guess. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's why you have to be like how him and I are. And we just kind of have like a really free relationship. Like he can do what he wants to do. Yep. I can do what I want to do. But we just have that. We're literally, this is my fucking best friend. Like right. I'll ride, that's freaking ride that's how it be. for him. And like you, when you meet that girl, you'll know. Like, yeah, I feel like you just have like that gut feeling. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. This is it. No, like literally your soul will recognize that person. That's how it felt whenever I met him. I didn't even know him. He was not my type. Like I didn't even know that he was in music, you know, and literally when I met him, it was just kind of like, there the fuck you are. Like, where have you been all my life? You know, and that'll happen whenever the right girl comes along. I feel like you are so young to be focused on wanting to get married. though. I do. I want to. I wanted to like originally get married at like. 20 years old no like fucking old. you've got it not be me dude <laughs> you, <laughs> i was just about to say Jaden. how about you uh, how do no. you feel Jaden? Um, when's your birthday september 20 2001 is your little virgo libra virgo virgo well you're on the cusp you're a virgo libra and you're yep. a gemini right you're a gemini cancer i honestly don't know june 15th <laughs> yeah yeah gemini i don't know cancer. what the yeah yeah i, I don't do. know <laughs> he's like yeah, I heard people were like what's your thing i'm like yeah, i don't know what are you guys doing out here in nashville Making content, <coughs> making content, out. hanging out. Honestly, I flew out. Up. Well, he flew out too, but like he had gotten contact. He called me and I was back home and he's like, yo, what are you doing for the fourth? And I was like, dude, I was supposed to go to Jersey, but I mean, other than that, I don't fucking, nothing really. And I was going to go to Jersey just to hang out with like some of my boys going on the boat and shit. He's like, let's go to fucking Nashville. I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Because one of our buddies, uh, Cowboy Creech, He's blowing up on TikTok right now too. Like Creech. We didn't name. know how to pronounce his name. Yeah, we were like we just call him Chartreuse. Chartreuse. Yeah, we call, we board. We, we didn't him, know. We were just we call like him making cheese up shit. Or puss, one of the yeah. two. <laughs> but um that's like an inside joke we have. But uh no, we were like, um, we're going in here, let's all collab, let's get a B and B and just like fuck shit up. So we're like, let's fucking do it. Yeah, we just came out here. And come out here and get some though. Nashville yeah, hoot nanny. <laughs> yeah. Already, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you got any Nashville hoot nanny, Jaden? Shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the uh, next question? Honestly. What about you? Not me. I'm about the only one that ain't. Why do I not believe that? We well, you know we, just, lying like we a just had a girl on the podcast. <laughs> no, actually, I'm sorry. He hasn't at all. This trip or Mm-mm. the trip before or ever? Trip before? No, no. I've never done. I, I just want to put this out there. <laughs> Except when me and Jay were dating. That was like two years ago. Yeah. I was just saying, I'm not a whore. First of all, <laughs> I swear to God. But what? But here's the I'm thing: you guys are so young; it doesn't matter. Like you yeah. guys right now should be banging people and getting it out of your system, babe. How many people were you banging when you were in your twenties? As many as possible. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's a dirtbag even now. So it's like groupies; he Shit. loves them. Um, <laughs> so it's like you literally, yeah. you guys need to live your life to the fullest because when you do finally decide to get settled down, not a lot of girls are cool enough to have like an open relationship. So you're going to be stuck with one pussy for the rest of your life, you know? Shit, so yeah, I kind of want that, but I'm like, I'm a, I don't know. I'm like afraid of it. Well, commitment is, it's very scary. It's a huge thing that you have to like really be ready for mentally and emotionally. I think I'm afraid of her like not giving me my hunting and fishing time. <laughs> A lot of women don't do that. They, yeah. You're not allowed to hunt and fish on their dime. Yeah, so she don't let me go sit my trees now. I might, I don't know. I'm not a divorce <laughs> kind of guy, but I might have to think about that one. Separation. Yeah. Might just be separation. What's dating like for you guys now since you guys are so big on TikTok? Is Shit. it really hard not, to... Not yeah. a lot of it. <laughs> really? I mean, I actually had this one girl that I actually, like, I was like in love with, like bad, but I fucking, I fucked it up pretty bad. What'd you do? So... Yeah. No. I'm not even saying I'm not, I'm like, wait, who? said, yeah. Who? Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. Oh, wait. What, 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 no, wait. No, like, Rewind. We, what we were can't. we talking about, Caden? No, this is a long He's time He's been ago. out new this whole time, so it's yeah, your time. Bitch. I was supporting you. You were crying. Like, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, you did give me a kiss. You're good. Oh, that was really sweet. You give me one before this bitch is over. No, I ain't. You sure are. You I'm kissing up on me at the house all damn time. I'm using tongue. That's fine. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so, um, I'm not going to say names, but like right when I started social media, I was probably like 500K, 600K. I took a trip to Myrtle Beach, met this girl, and it was like, boom, like 
like that feeling, that gut feeling. I'm like, holy fucking shit. He would love MJ. I got a girl I want to introduce you to. She is wild. Where's she at? She, Myrtle Beach. Oh shit! I'm actually going there in like fucking a week. So she's there. At, right after I will LA. definitely connect you guys. She's a porn star, but she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so didn't you just have her on? Yeah, uh, MJ comes on all the time. So I, I, I would love for you guys to come back and be like regulars. Anytime anybody comes on the podcast, oh, I always try to bring you guys on like once a year. Because I think we're about to be moving here. Yay! Yep. Even yeah. better. Yeah. So we'll probably see you guys all the time. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So anyway, I met this girl. And it was like click, and I got back home. It's like I was so new to like all this traveling shit. That was like my first, like, like my second like trip I took. I didn't know anyone there except for one person. Went into this house with a bunch of TikTokers. I was like, "Yo, what's up?" Like, is that collabing. weird? Not to cut you off, but like going into a house I mean, to like, like collab with a bunch of TikTokers. In the beginning, I'm like, "Oh, this is like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, yeah. What am I supposed to say? Like, what dance am I supposed to like?" I didn't know shit. I was like, now I'm like, "Yo, let's fucking do it." You yeah. guys just walk like, up to each other and start pop lock and dropping it. Yeah, like, actually, like have a dance off and see you can do it the best. You're like, "Yo, let's fucking make this video." <laughs> That's literally how it goes, and boom, your friends. I swear to God. That's hilarious. But um, so no. Uh, I got really close with her or whatever, and I went back home to Ohio, and we, like, texted, blah, 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 FaceTime, but I kind of wasn't, like, giving her, like, the attention she was seeking or, like, she mm. was trying to give me, because I was new to it. I'd never done a long, like, long-distance relationship. She lived in Jersey. I lived in Ohio. I was still in college full-time, and she was, I don't know, just kind of doing her own thing. I wasn't really, like, putting out the feelings, like, the energy for her she was giving to me. So she ended up losing feelings a little bit here and there, but we like kind of went off and on a little bit like he did with his girl. But uh, so I ended up taking a trip to um, fucking, where was it, LA for Halloween like two years ago. And um, me and her got a really big argument there, like a big fight, and it wasn't good. Is we this made the up. same time you got jumped? No, this, this okay. the time I got in the big fight was like this previous Halloween. No, oh, gotcha. Um, but. I was like, you had a shit trip. Oh, I didn't get beat up. <laughs> Coming through it. I didn't get beat up. I uh, no no no. I mean, but no, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. What you're But uh, so anyway, I went to L.A. Halloween. We got in a big fight. It was bad. Like we weren't talking at all. And because she was mad at me, that I was like not like ghosting her as like as she would say, but I don't know. I just was not ready for anything like that. And I kind of didn't like let her know. I kind of was like, ah, uh, like I'll drift this way and you go that way. But so in L.A. again, it was bad. And I. They didn't hook up with any of her friends, but I was like, I was flirting with them, giving them attention, which is like the worst fucking thing I could yeah, ever you can't fucking do that. done. The friends is uh, because we got an argument, and my one of my buddies was like all over, and I was like, okay, like fuck you, dude, like that pissed me off because even though like me and her weren't like a thing, like it's kind of like like he was one of my close homies, and you're trying to fuck the girl, I was like dude, no, like I'll I'll leave, like no, it kind of pissed me off, but you're about puss, dude, I'm just <laughs> not a fucking puss. So that I saw that, and I was like, okay. I'm gonna fucking do the same shit. So I was like, let's just have friends, blah, blah, blah. Shouldn't have done that. Should have let it go. But long story short, um, we actually didn't talk for a really long time. And then I snapped her out of nowhere. Like, I would snap her here and there, like, yo, how you doing, blah, blah. And I saw her again in LA. And I was like, fuck, dude. Because I haven't seen her in a long time. I haven't seen her for about a year. And we actually had a party. And I was, um, I wasn't talking like really any TikTok people. I was kind of doing my own thing. And she didn't know I was coming. And I, while I was in this party and she walked by me, she didn't see me, I tapped her arm and she like looked and she like looked again like, oh my fucking God, like, what are you doing here? But like the hug that we had, like that was like an I miss you hug. Aww. I was like, holy shit, dude. I was about to cry in that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to you. Aww. And then she just, no feelings for me at all. She kind of like not hated me, but she was like, no, like this is not there anymore. I don't feel the same. And I was like, I'm sure she was probably just guarded. Very, I'm sure the feelings are very, there. She's really stubborn, but it's for a yeah. good reason. It's a good thing. Yeah. So are you guys going to get back together or what's the moral of the story? Here? You know, I don't know. Uh, I'm working on it, but I'm kind of like letting her do her own thing. I'm doing my own thing because we've talked about it multiple times. We've actually been talking a lot like recently, not like talking, talking, but like, you know, having a conversation. And we've talked about everything that happened because me and her have been like on and off for like the last two years. Yeah. And everybody in our friend group knows like. Me and her, like, no one messes with her. No one messes with me anymore because, like, they know we fuck with each other so much. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm working on it. It's, uh, it's a slow process. Got to. No, you guys need to have fun. You guys are way too young to fucking settle down. Trust me. Yeah. Take it from me. We'll it's, like, one of those things, like, no matter how much fun I'll have, like, now, at the end of the day, like, that's the person I still, like, want to be with, of you know? Of course, yeah. So, like, it's a struggle. It's right gotta... person, wrong time. Yeah. You but know? even we had talks about it, like, arguments. She was cussing me out. And... <laughs> 
It's kind of sex mentioned into me. Kind of, <laughs> I was gonna say you strike is. me as the type of person who oh, likes that kind of shit. That yeah. toxic shit a little bit. I'm in for it. Pop pisses me right off. Yeah, this, dude. But are, do you like toxic shit, Caden? It's it's hot. It okay, what, not okay. like, it so I, let me tell me what are some of you guys' turn ons because we know that's why these girls are turning okay, tuning into this biggest, podcast they want to know what... i'll tell you the biggest turn on for me right now it's not like a specific thing but like you know how girls always expect like dudes to make the first move or whatever mm -hmm. if a girl comes up to me and makes the first oh, yeah. move holy shit yeah oh my god you guys say that but then when it happens your wieners can't get hard oh mine gets mine gets a pretty pretty damn good fun some guys <laughs> get really intimidated by strong women no though. no i no. like it mm -mm. <clears throat> or like Whenever you like walk in somewhere and you like see the girl and you're like, yeah, she's bad and she gives you like the little look down. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that makes my freaking like, that makes me want to go run a mile. Mm. <laughs> Daddy, Shit. is that how you feel? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you high? He's over here just smiling I'm away. Just, I feel like I'm watching a podcast, not on TV. Yeah. <laughs> the first one of these I didn't listen to. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, sure. I'm watching my wife's podcast. Um, what else turns you guys on? Like, what else can a girl do to get your attention? Honestly, I don't even know. Like, I don't really, like, pay just attention. being like, assertive and kind It's like, of if I feel like, it, like, I fuck with you. It's like, right. gotta be the perfect amount of, like, assertive. She can't she be, like, too in her masculine energy, but can't be too feminine yeah. either. Like, she's gotta be just, like, boss. Yeah. Oh, like, mm. Gotcha. What about what about some turn offs? It's hard to actually think about. Like it's just gotta happen in the moment. I'd say I like don't know. let me think. I, don't I know. hate whenever because I'm like a real small, like small town country guy, but so I'm I like hate whenever girls. Hey, and like I heard girl. your dick game is strong. What? Yep. Hey, that's a fucking lie. He's a fucking <laughs> puss. He's a fucking puss. <laughs> I heard you are great in bed. Do, do, yeah, we dudes. have this documented, don't we? Jay. <laughs> his face. What's it, what's his name? <laughs> right there. <laughs> I'm, oh my god, it is fucking up there. Look at that shit. <laughs> I didn't say it was Jay. It could have been somebody else too. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. His face. He gets so <clears throat> shy. That you should be. You should be happy that she's out there saying that your wiener is <clears throat> amazing. She's something. <laughs> Dude, she is he just got so excited when you said that <laughs> yeah, I feel like you get really shy whenever it comes to sex talk not really I just got like I don't know I was... that one threw me for a loop because I knew as, <laughs> as soon as you said I knew who it came from so I was like I kind of had to like let it go I never like confirmed it. it never confirmed you know, it what <laughs> but I, like I said we've had a few girls on here so You'll just have to wait to see how the season unfolds. But I mean, I'm about to go search my name up. <laughs> <out there. laughs> so you guys don't know about any turn offs. There's nothing a girl could do that could possibly turn you off. Do you guys feel like it's I mean, hard to date now because of honestly, I feel like I feel like yes and no. Yeah, yes and no. But I honestly feel like a relationship now, like where we're at, it just boosts you. Like yeah, you see that relationship shit. Like most of my buddies are in relationships. And they'll post shit, and it just goes fucking nuts because everyone likes to see that couple shit, and they like to see the fucking videos of you and like your girl or like that. Type, yeah, you know? it's crazy. They really do love TikTok. It's loves nuts, couple dude. shit. Yeah, it's like every time I make a video with a girl, everyone's like, "Oh my god, are you guys dating?" <coughs> oh yeah, dude. Bro, I just said, met her no. like two hours ago. <laughs> yeah. So you guys got to meet Dem. You met Dem, right? Yeah. I yeah, freaking love her. She's a hoot. She's coming on the podcast on Monday. I can't wait she's to meet awesome. her. She's awesome. She seems like a sweetheart. She's crazy. No, I believe I it. I freaking love her. No, she's awesome. Good. Oh I can't wait. She seems just like good energy. Yeah, she's she a good is. Vibe. Good. She is. She's really that. down to earth, really freaking. She's just awesome. I love that. Yeah. Well, where do you guys want TikTok and what do you guys want to accomplish in the next year? What are you what are some goals that you guys want to do because you, know, you guys have all this fame right now? Like are you going to utilize it to actually build some sort of a brand or First thing I want to do is pay off my parents' debt. No. That's the first thing I'm going to do. After that, <clears throat> I kind of want to open up my own business. Yep. Carpentry or just... I don't know yet. I'm really think thinking a concrete business for me. Just either that or maybe like a fishing store would be pretty cool. Gotcha. That would be awesome. Fishing store. Let's open up a big bar, dude. <laughs> Huge club, I'm telling you. Dude, right I in can downtown sit there Miami. and look at bass. So look, he got... Yeah. Look, I'm telling you, right downtown Miami. <laughs>
I was actually going to move there and do real estate, but we came to Nashville and it's crazy how fast something can change so quick, dude. Like I had, I even told him on the phone, I was like, dude, I was like this whole Miami thing I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to go out there. Like I was going to sell yachts, like work for this dude and his company and like this like brokerage and all this stuff. And like, uh, eventually getting into real estate, get my license. I was actually doing schooling back in Ohio, <coughs> with, uh, Florida real estate. Oh, dope. And I came here and now like so much stuff has like hit us and happened. Like, dude, yeah. like I'm, I'm about to move here now. Like shit's, it's crazy. It's honestly nuts. Yeah, I think we got some freaking crazy it's, shit coming. It's going to be good. So you guys move into Nashville, you guys think, for sure? Yeah. yeah. I think we're about to have a freaking pad. Well, you know, yeah. if you move here, Morgan Wallen's going to bang more of your exes. Yeah, I did. Morgan Wallen definitely just banged my exes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, I think current girlfriend. Oh, you, so you do have a girlfriend right now? No, oh. it's my friends. Oh, your friends current girlfriend. I don't know what the heck they are. Oh, gotcha. But he definitely, Morgan Wallen definitely just waxed her. <laughs> I mean, is she blonde? Yep. There you go. <laughs> that's all you got to say. Is She's kind of hot. She is pretty hot. Morgan so. loves blondes. That's his thing. She yeah. Is. Yeah. You think my girl, I'm talking to him blonde. <laughs> he had to put them hands up. And he, he, Morgan somehow just takes every girl he wants, so. Well, uh, not this one. Yeah. I love Morgan, but he's homies with daddy, so. Big daddy. Big daddy. That's my boy. <laughs> Um, so I, I want to fucking whoever wants to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dead. So I want to play a game with he you pulls. guys. He pulls. It no, feels he like does. it feels Biggest so weird. On earth, he should. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it feels so weird, like coming to Nashville. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I am like, I was. I'm not country, but like, I have my moments. Like right now, I'm, I just bought this shit yesterday. Yeah. I used to, I was getting dogged in my comments like, what kind of boat you wearing? I'm like, alright, fuckers. I'm gonna go buy a fucking thing. I just bought fucking six hundred dollar cowboy boots. Last night, I was like, fuck this shit. I'll fucking put Are they Luke Casey's? Honestly, I cannot fucking tell you. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. But, dude, I, back home, I dress like him. I have a fucking gold grill I had at home. Chains and shit. Like, I'm like a city boy. Like, yeah. So when he came out here, I was like, fuck it. I'll throw a like, country fit on because it's like whatever state you're in, that's a for you page your TikTok's going to hit. So okay. I came here. I'm like, I'm knowing Nashville. Like, he dresses country. All the people here that I'm going to be with dress country. So I'm like. But we call that being a culture vulture if you don't stay true to who you are. Really? Mm-hmm. He's yeah. in Jaden's face. Yeah, fuck that. Okay. that is exactly what it's called because you're poaching people's, you know, lifestyle. <coughs> I mean, but, don't I mean, get me wrong. Like when I'm here, I still dress. Industry, you're a content creator, so it doesn't really matter what you do. If you I mean, fucking like, don't get me wrong. Like, while I was here, I still dress. I still have fits here, like that I would wear back home. Like mm -hmm. same. I still go out in them, but like for making content stuff, like so that's what I mean. Like by the variations of different things, like I try to do on my account. Like people are not gonna, they're not used to me wearing a fucking like cowboy hat or like a buckled like yeah, belt. Likes. Yeah, and it just blows up. They're like, holy shit! Like what is this? And like, yeah. it just does good. So, I mean, it's like how I am as a person, I'm still like a city boy. Yeah. But like, I like to have fun, and I'll like dress the part a little yeah. bit, and like you know, do that I type get of it. shit. I'm a West Coast girl. I've never conformed to the whole cowgirl thing, but I will like slap on some cute little yeah. cowgirl boots or something every oh, now yeah. and then. Like when we go to LA totally for Halloween, yeah. right before I go, every time we get a fade, all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I get, yeah. Makes you feel hot. Do, do some pimping. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right i'm gonna ask you guys a couple questions you guys know the thing that's trending right now where it's like she's a, a nine but oh, she yeah. does this so i'm gonna ask you a oh, few sure. questions and i went oh wait you know what Jaden, you have an only fans let's talk about that oh, not your, explicit but i get pretty close is your wiener do, on the internet it's not it is not and you make money not showing your wiener i do i do pretty good for myself what do you do on there dude and his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're about to fuck Oh, well, I'm definitely subbing then. That's look, right up my no, alley. <laughs> look, okay, I, I'm a, I, no names, but one of my buddies back at the crib right now, like, he's obsessed with ass. Like, asshole. <laughs> he eats ass, like, all the time. I'm like, dude, for me, like, I'm, I not, can't I'm not eating your ass. I'm sorry. You don't eat ass? No, I could never. Okay, look, okay, I'll rephrase it. If I, like, really fuck with a girl, or, like, if I'm married, okay, that's different. Yeah, I guess. But if I'm hooking up, Well, you can't just no. go around licking buttholes. You never know yeah, where they Yeah, dude, been. he does. <laughs> I should say his name right now, but fuck that, nah. Dude, that shit is gross. I'm sorry. I'm not eating some random girl's ass I just met at the club like an hour ago. What if she has like dingleberries? It's a whole thing. Oh, I could puke. <laughs> I would. Oh. Look, I'll eat pussy Someone said all day. it tastes like licking a penny. It tastes I'll like eat, licking a penny. I'll I mean, are these day. girls not fucking washing their asses? Like, what is happening? Dude. All I'll, right. You know, She's a 15, shit. but she chews tobacco. <laughs> they're, they're thinking about it. I don't think I've ever met a 15 that chewed tobacco. <laughs> it's just not a... I'm going to put, a, I'm gonna put her right there about a solid six. <laughs> I gotcha. What about Shit. you, Jaden? I think you're like a four. 
I mean, I don't like, I don't do anything like tobacco and nicotine. I don't oh, know, like pouches they, are like straight up like grizzly Just straight wintergreen. up fucking just chaw right here. Oh, oh, that's like a two. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. If I'm your girl walks up to me, you know, <laughs> I don't even do that. I'm out You don't have that. to spit that bitch out and kick rocks. <laughs> yeah. No offense. Yeah. Look, I don't like, nah, dude, that, what the, I've never Jamie's seen a fucking face. girl do that shit. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Mm. All right. I don't know what I would do. I'd be like. Is that, is that real? Like, did you get punched or is that a fucking, is that a dip, bro? That's a hammer. Shit. She's a two, but she has goals in her own business. Ten. Yeah, ten. Ten? ten? I like that. Ten. That's good. She's a whore, but she has a, <laughs> but she has, hold on. I think I'm going to like it. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Let's go. These Let's only go. get worse, okay? Oh, come on. Let's keep it going. I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> she's, a whore. she's a whore, but she has a mullet. Oh, sh- <laughs> dude, that's a fucking negative. I'm hey, I met a girl at the bar last night that looked at my hair, or no, t- a couple nights ago, and she was dead serious. She's like, I think I'm going to cut them all like this. <laughs> oh, my God. No, she dead ass was. Was she hot? No, no hell no. Me. She had oh. green hair, pink hair. Oh, no. Dude. So, I'd, was that a yes? That's I'm like a, that, that's a negative for me. Like, <laughs> I'm I just rather wouldn't meet you. Unless she sing, sounds like Dolly Parton. I'm out. <laughs> Never just close that. your eyes and visualize. Ooh. She is a nine, but she farts when she comes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I can just like pick. What the? F- I'm going to literally pee my pants. All right, podcast over. <laughs> Shit. I'm crying. You got to answer. You got to answer. Inquiring so minds want to know. A, she's a nine, but farts when she comes. <laughs> like, is it like a loud, like a... <laughs> like, like, like a bird. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or it's like a real hollowed out, and it sounds like someone breathing. Like it's got reverb. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that would be... <laughs> I don't get that about a 12. No, I'm just playing. I'm just, I'm just, yeah. Extra vibration. I might just feel better for that. Oh, God. Okay, it'll I, like, it'll answer, rumble the balls. I'm, like, is it every time? Like, every Plug time your nose, she... babe. I'm about to come. <laughs> so, oh, dude, my God. Hold on. I might need, like, a fucking breathing Daddy, tube. what about you? Okay, let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this. You're going down, and all of a sudden, <laughs> she lets that shit out. Like, what are you going to do? It's happened. <laughs> 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 I know y'all are young, right? Ooh, I know, like, one time. One time in seven years. And it, I, I will not go to the bathroom in front of this man. I will not pass gas in front of this man. This one time, it happens. And it happened in the beginning of our relationship, and he has never let me fucking live it down. <laughs> Ever. Look, no. Little, little queef action don't scare nobody. I'm going to put that one. I'm going to say, if she's a nine. Does she fart every time? <laughs> or is, it like, is it like a one-time thing or is it every fucking time? Every time. Every single time. Every time it so I gotta, spits, it airs. I got to hear that bitch and smell that bitch every single time? Every time, I'm gonna go, baby. Oh, fuck that bitch. She gone. All right, all right. I'm going to have to be hitting it like this. She's a three, fuck but no. she has VIP access to all the bars on Broadway. Ten. <laughs> that's how you know you're not from here so, dude i like to get lit i don't like broadway that much you should go out a lot of this i don't i hate broadway i won't go down there you can't so okay well you it's like where you're there. at you gotta deal with what you got yeah i guess so i mean like i mean the bars here aren't bad if, is it like I mean, cma fest vip where you're like away from everyone it's and, just vip baby anytime anywhere so only <laughs> Oh. They're rationalizing it. <laughs> no, Caden. Caden is like. <laughs> Look, she's crying over here. Caden's really trying here. to give her a chance. Holy here. shit! Oh <clears throat> she's a ten. <clears throat> These questions. <clears throat> she's a ten, but she will only listen to Cotton Eye Joe on repeat when you fuck. <laughs> I'm not. I can't even get hard on a thing. Like, what did you go? Know, what did you go? Know? Like, uh. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Ah, she's a ten, but listen yeah, to Cotton Eye Joe. I'm out on that one. You're out on that one. No um, Cotton Eye Joe. No, well, I can dance about anything, it. but Cotton Eye Joe. I think I'd rather listen to Shawn Mendes. <laughs> she's uh, a negative one, but she loves Jesus. That's a solid eight. <laughs> I get like. Why do I feel like that was very like being nice? That was a solid eight. No, mm-hmm. I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You like a. Like a four or five, probably. <laughs> I love Jaden. Oh yeah. Really. She's a twelve, but she has a slight goatee. 
Oh. <laughs> that, that, that's a dude. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? There's a dick under their pants. <laughs> so no facial hair. You guys don't like facial hair at Okay, all. if you're a girl and you got facial hair, I'm going to call you Mr. instead of Mrs. This is not... Oh, I can't do that shit. I don't shit. think I kiss a girl and feel a mustache. No. Yeah, the little pricklies I'm on sorry. there. I'm like, sorry. If it's like a full, like, mm, you got more hair in your face than me, it's not going to work out. She's a 10, but she has an OnlyFans. You better say 10. I'm about to say, what, what does you she post? Have, you okay, can't. but I don't post, like, dick pics or shit. So if you, so you won't date a girl that has an OnlyFans that posts explicit content? Okay, if she doesn't content? post sex videos, then she's a 10 still to me, yeah. What's wrong with a girl who posts sex? Because she's not having sex with me. So, so you she's won't... just out fucking a bunch of dudes. Like, ah. No, but what if it's like dildos and stuff oh, like that? Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. So as long as that. she doesn't have like multiple partners. Yeah, that's fine. What about <coughs> you, Caden? How do you feel about OnlyFans? When are you coming out with yours? I'm not making one. You're a fucking That plus. dick game is strong, though. I'm not making one. <laughs> I still got a little meat. <laughs> yeah. I'm now not. all the girls are going to want to see it. You drop that OnlyFans, you're going to be a millionaire in a month. I'm going to be having pictures from five years ago getting leaked. Oh, I'm waiting for that to happen. One of these days it's going to happen and I'm going to kill someone. Are you putting nudes out there? Yeah, whenever I was a hoe. Oh, no. So there are dick pics floating around of you. Yeah, for me in like high school. Oh, okay. No, well, I, have, I have had that happen. But yeah. 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 But they're right. not like on Reddit or Twitter or anything, so I'm chilling. I think we got one more. <clears throat> I want a spice. I want a good one. I mean, we've done some pretty good ones. The Let's see. Fart crap. Yeah, that that <laughs> shit. That I was not expecting that. I'm sorry. Uh, she's a ten, but she hasn't cleaned her car out since the War of 1812. Like dirty girls, like messy girls. Do you guys like those? Fucking zero. Can't stand messiness. Zero. Yeah, I don't like messy. Can't. Unless she gives a good back scratch. <laughs> I'm in on the back scratch. <laughs> like, so you'll deal with messiness as long as she can give you a back okay. rub. Yeah. I mean, everybody's like a little messy, but if you're like, you don't, I clean my car like twice a week, like clean it outside and like yeah. I clean the fuck out of that shit. I just bought a brand new car, but I don't, dude, <laughs> if I got to get in that shit and sit on like, like two week old, like McDonald's fries and shit. Ooh. Ew, that's disgusting. I can't, no, or like, like moldy like, ass food in the back yeah, seat. Like and you know how bad it's going to smell? Ew. Yeah, no, so I'd rather Well, if her car's dirty, her ass. vagina's probably dirty, too. Yeah, it's not going to work. So you have like to refried think about it. beans and unwashed cooch. <laughs> Cum farts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to thank you guys for coming in today. Thank it was you. really sweet having you guys on. And I want you guys to come back and, like, start being reoccurring guests. I'm oh, so I'm in. I'm here. I'm what in. can we look forward to? What can everybody start looking forward to? A you guys moving to Nashville? Move. Yeah, yes. we're... Yes. There's the <laughs> shit, like, we have coming, like, in Nashville, it's fucking huge. Yay. It's huge. I'm really excited for you guys. I can't wait to see Thank what the so world much. brings you guys. Cause it's going be, be dope. You guys have a lot to offer. I'm really excited. Really pumped about so it. Fucking cool. Cool. Awesome. When is this move Here happening? Plus. You're fucking close. Uh, I think real soon. Like next probably two months. Oh, wow. So that close. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I think one of, the, uh, one of his buddies um, was like a sponsor. Yeah, he's a manager. No, he's got, he's fucking wants to get this big ass pad. It's like, got like a basketball court, yeah. fucking like tiki bar, um, a fucking stage on, like in, at the stage house. stage in the backyard. For like, like that can fit like 500 people. Who's management? You have a manager? I, I do, yeah, but this is another guy. Oh, um, gotcha. Okay. I don't know if you know, I don't, I don't want to say his name out loud. Jay probably knows him. Yeah, Jay knows know. everybody here. Yeah, yeah for sure. Absolutely. Well, I can't wait to see what Nashville holds for you guys. And I know everybody's going to be tuning in to watch, so. Thank you guys so much for coming on. I really appreciate yeah, for it. Thank you. Farts. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Thank you guys for tuning into another episode of Dumb Blonde. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.